This week we're going to talk about fear, and fear is very natural, especially when it comes to low-speed yeah. handling on a, especially a heavyweight motorcycle. Here we have a rider who's been riding for years, but he's only cruised down the road, made great big wide bends, leaned the bike just a little bit, and at high speeds, at really anything above 20 miles an hour, most people don't have a problem with that because they can feel that centrifugal force is keeping them up. Now here I'm telling this rider that he's got to really be aggressive turning those handlebars back and forth to make it through this weave. And once he gets to that big U-turn at the end, he's got to snap his head and look behind him because really that's where he wants to go. This is something that most riders find extremely difficult. Those head turns are so important, yet people find it almost impossible at first to actually turn your head and eyes and look where you want to go. Now here's a rider who's practiced, and as you can see, he's dipping the hell out of that motorcycle. He's practiced, he practices on a regular basis, and he has zero fear. Here's our rider that's just new at the low speed techniques, and he's trying to keep that bike as straight up as possible, fighting the very design of the motorcycle, because the motorcycle wants to lean when it turns. In order to keep the bike completely straight up, you got to be below five miles an hour. And that's what this rider is, despite the fact that she's on a really small bike that's a 350 Honda. I don't think it weighs more than, I don't know, 300 pounds. And she fights that lean all the way. Doesn't want to lean the bike. Same thing with this rider, though possibly not quite as bad. And he does have an excuse where he's riding a 900 pound motorcycle. However, you still got to get over that fear. And the only way to do it is to actually turn those bars, get your speed above five miles an hour. Above five, it can't fall down. Anything below five, and yeah, there's a possibility the bike could tip over because you've got gravity wanting to pull you to the ground and it has more force than the force that's pulling you forward. So watch this rider. Once again, he's turning those bars really hard from side to side, leaning and dipping that motorcycle. And this dipping motion is very important for low speed handling. It makes things much easier. Once again, our rider who's starting to get over his fear a little bit, but he's still not turning the bars aggressively enough from side to side. And he actually starts to make this U-turn. Then he looks straight because his brain is telling him, don't turn your head, don't turn your head. And when you don't turn your head, the handlebars won't come around. By the second exercise, he's starting to get over his fear of the lean. His speed is pretty good here. He's probably at around seven or eight miles per hour and he's able to lean the motorcycle and make these turns. But the turns are really wide because he's not turning his head fast enough or far enough. And that's what most people find to be, well, kind of difficult to get that idea through your skull. But believe me, when it comes to riding a motorcycle well, your instincts are wrong. Whatever they're telling you, it's generally the exact opposite of it. When he doesn't make it through the gate, that's the gate is what we call the area between the two cones. When he doesn't make it through that gate, it's simply because he didn't turn his head fast enough or far enough. Your hands follow the eyes. Turn your head and eyes. Look where you want to go. The hands will soon follow. And this works in everything, whether it be skiing or skateboarding or riding a motorcycle. Here we have another rider who's practiced prior to coming to the class. He has really no fear at all. He's not worried about dropping his bike because he knows if he keeps power to the rear wheel and keeps his speed above about five miles per hour, the bike cannot fall over. Does a real good job of turning his head and eyes and that makes the bike go exactly where you want it to go. This rider again, new at the techniques comes through there he should have already been turning as he goes through the gate or between those two cones and once again a rider fighting that lean his brain is telling him if you lean anymore the bike is going to fall over but that's actually not the case if you stay below five miles an hour that's when there's a good chance the bike could fall over while true you can creep along at two miles an hour but uh, and make turns at two or three miles per hour but that means you have to keep the bike straight up, and that's actually more difficult than allowing the motorcycle to lean. This works on every two-wheeled vehicle. you got to lean in order to turn. And here's a rider, even on, once again, this very small motorcycle. Her fear of leaning is extremely high, so she does her best to keep that bike straight up. And then even on a tiny motorcycle like this, if you keep the, the bike straight up, your turns have to be gigantic. That means if somebody pulls out in front of you and you're afraid to lean the motorcycle, yeah, your chances of escaping a serious accident are slim and none. 
got to get over that fear. I explained to this rider the best thing since she's already on a really small motorcycle and has been riding for quite a while. I think she said she had 35,000 miles on her bike, but her fear has always been leaning. So I said, well, the best thing is to work these same exercises on a bicycle. If you have a fear of leaning the bicycle, well, maybe two wheels aren't for you because it's not for everybody. Here we have a rider who was really, really bad, had that high fear level on a mid-sized bike, and the bike doesn't exactly fit her properly, but that's not her problem. Her problem is the fear of leaning the motorcycle, but she was determined, and because of the fact that she was determined and wanted to get better and was willing to practice, I did some one-on-one -on -one training with her, put her on the bicycle, and the results were just really fantastic. She became actually a good rider, lost her fear of leaning the motorcycle. She understood the principles of head and eyes and using that friction zone and the rear brake, and we really turned her around. Here's the same rider after uh, probably about six hours of one-on-one -on -one training using the bicycle, making the exercises much larger, and also practicing on her own. And as you can see, it really paid dividends. She's lost her fear of leaning the motorcycle. She's turning her head and eyes using the friction zone a little bit of pressure on the rear brake and she's handling the motorcycle as it should be handling look at her dip that bike going through this and makes here just about an 18 foot turn which is pretty good for most riders you got to push past that fear threshold and once you do it starts to get easier and easier and of course you got to practice and you got to practice the proper techniques if you're practicing the wrong thing it's not going to help you anybody can do it with enough determination and practice